is to play with that confidence, to say, look, we want the ball, and to know that as coaches, that's what we want from them as well. If they lose possession trying to do the right things, then you can't criticize that too much. It's when they lose possession trying to do things that we haven't worked on in training that we need to look at the issues. But for us, it's about performance. Um, Togo come into the next game. Obviously, look, we don't expect anything more than a tough encounter because, as you said, Morocco the reigning champions and in their opening game against Togo, 1-0 with a penalty kick to decide to get say to the boys. What we reiterated at halftime yesterday to try and relieve some of the stress they maybe felt and what we re-emphasized full time is we will never criticize them for trying to do the right things, for trying to do the positive things, for trying to play football. We'll never criticize them for that. When we'll get critical is when they try to take the easy option, when they try to just play direct and when they try to give away responsibility rather than accepting responsibility to be on the ball and be confident. So for us really, whilst there might be small tactical tweaks for each game that we come up to, because naturally Rwanda, Togo and Morocco present different challenges that we have to you know, we have to be conscious of. We can't ignore them. We have to tweak our approach maybe 20, 30 percent depending on the opponent. But for us, the number one priority is always internal. Hallett obviously missed out through a small injury. Um, he had a little strain on his hamstring um, a couple of days before the match. And Look, hamstrings are one of those things that if you rush a player back from too quickly, then maybe they get a bigger injury and it rules them out for a longer time. So for us, we didn't want to rush it. Um, we're hopeful in the upcoming games that he'll be ready. We'll see. We're speaking with the doctors, hopefully training this evening. He'll be taking part in the majority of training this evening. But as we say, it, it, it's a smaller thing. It wasn't a big pain he felt. But with hamstrings, you can never be too careful. And so the decision arrived at with the medical team and with the player himself was that he should miss this game in order to give him the best possible chance moving forward. But Hallett obviously missed out through a small injury. Um, he had a little strain on his hamstring um, a couple of days before the match. And look, hamstrings are one of those things that if you rush a player back from too quickly, then maybe they get a bigger injury and it rules them out for a longer time. So for us, we didn't want to rush it. Um, we're hopeful in the upcoming games that he'll be ready. We'll see. We're speaking with the doctors, hopefully training this evening. He'll be taking part in the majority of training this evening. But as we say, it, it, it's a smaller thing. It wasn't a big pain he felt. But with hamstrings, you can never be too careful. And so the decision arrived at with the medical team and with the player himself was that he should miss this game in order to give him the best possible chance moving forward. Um, you look at the progressive stages they've come on over the last 18 months from qualifying to Sakafa into the pre-Chan tournament which involves other teams here at Chan and they've steadily been able to step up each time. They've made those forward steps. Yesterday was yet another opportunity for them to take a step forward in a bigger stage, bigger pressure and I think especially in the first half, you know, maybe people wanted to play a little bit too safe. Um, if we look at the game back, you know, over the course of the 90 minutes, we played almost 200 more passes than Rwanda. But passing doesn't get you anywhere if it's not into the right spaces. And I think that was the big disappointment. Um, it's possible. Like, I think ultimately, the first thing we know is Rwanda-Uganda games are often close affairs in recent years. Um, I was thinking back the last time we played at senior level, I was actually on the other side in Sakafa in 2015. And again, a very tight game, not many chances, finishing 1-0 to Uganda. So these games are always tight because they're those local derby games. Um, and as you say, there was a difference in the experience level. You know, we have purposefully decided to bring young players here and players who this is their first time to give them that exposure.